Hey everybody, Tybert here. Probably don't know what I look like. Maybe some of you do. I don't know. Here I am anyway. Uh, just wanting to release a video um, in place of my actual recording of Lost Planet 3. Uh, didn't get around to it this week because I've got a lot going on. Um, ignore the mess behind me. Uh, biggest reason is I just moved my game station from downstairs, if you've seen any of the... Um, I actually don't think we've done it on the podcast, but if we've ever uploaded anything on the podcast where I was before, there were different doors behind me. Ryan complains about him a lot on there. Um, Sniper Goo, in case you really just don't know who he is. Like that's possible. Um, anyway, so I didn't get around to recording Lost Planet 3. Um, you know, I've moved everything. Uh, I had to get the internet set up up here. It doesn't sound like it's going to take very long. It took me like two hours to move everything. I've got a lot right here. There's my laptop, obviously. My gaming laptop, that's where I do all of my recording and everything. Um, I could try to show you around a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, let's not. I don't like to mess with that because I don't even know what this video is going to look like. It's kind of a test run. I thought, just go for it. Um, oh, hey, Miss Muffin. This is my cat. You probably didn't see her. Come here, kitty cat. Nope. All right. Okay. So anyway, I've also uh, I'm a full, I work a full time job, forty five hours a week. Um, I'm a manager at my store of PetSmart. Um, cat, what are you doing? Get off of that. One second. Okay, never mind. She's been peeing on stuff recently. Not relevant to you guys. Um, so I got forty five hour work week there. I just applied for a job at GameStop. Um, kind of a spur of the moment thing. They were having a job fair for the for all of the game stops in the area. I thought, you know what, why not go and apply? They mentioned the management positions open. Um, so I went and did the job fair, interviewed with three different people there. Um, they kind of bounced me around everywhere. So I thought, you know, good signs. Um, I've got, you know, over a year of management experience already being at uh, PetSmart. Um, then they called me in for another interview. Uh, went and met the store manager down in another store. It's kind of a commute. I mean, it doesn't sound like it. It's less than half an hour, um, maybe half an hour on a bad day of traffic on the freeway. Uh, um, not the ideal situation. It's the opposite direction I want to move for school. Uh, but, yeah, just thought, you know, I'm not going to apply. So th all that happened, um, and they called me back today being, today's Tuesday. You'll probably get this tomorrow on Wednesday. Um, anyway, they called me back. I got to meet with the district manager. It looks like everything's going great there. Don't really know what I'm going to do. Um, just with that because I've already got a 45 hour you know work week like I said full time position um, and they're offering me another full time position at GameStop if the pay is good I'll definitely go over I mean every gamer's dream working at GameStop um, I've kind of stopped buying from them recently but I mean I've never hated them I love GameStop um, just they're a little bit farther than like Best Buy and got a Best Buy credit card that's how I afford my fancy laptop here um yeah, so a, a, a lot of stuff been going on the past week since I've released my last video. Didn't have a chance to upload it. Um, I don't even know where it is right now. Lost Planet 2, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't even know. Uh, it's somewhere in here, somewhere in my vast stores of stuff. Uh, yeah, waiting for, you know, some stuff I ordered online to come in. Don't really know if you guys wanted to know that. Just waiting for a mouse. Got a USB 7 port hub, blah, blah. Life's good. Um, just haven't had a lot of time to do stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm terrible at making videos. I don't know if you can tell that. This is actually my first video of me, just by myself, just talking. Uh, my last video, I definitely released. Definitely liked that I talked a lot more than I normally do when I play games. I mean, I kind of, like I've mentioned in that video, I kind of don't talk a lot when I play games. I more immerse myself in there and kind of like, oh, that's that's cool. I like to look around. I like to do this. Um, especially with my, you know, Astro headset. It's uh, sound oriented. You know, the whole surround sound literally. So things, I turn my head and it, it turns everything. And it's, it's pretty cool, but very distracting, especially for the way I play. Because I'm like, oh, something's going on over there. Something's going on over there. And I've realized that it's actually just my headset. It's not if I play it on regular, excuse me, speakers or even my other headset. It's not as detailed, um, but all sounds like that, just the way audio streams are 
and, and the the coating and everything on them, I can turn my head and well, not really turn my head, but if I turn the your facing in the game to a certain direction, you can hear the sounds better. Um, really helps with directional important games like Battlefield, Halo, Skyrim, um, Lost Planet Three, obviously. Uh, real quick, since we're on the you know topic of Lost Planet Three, I don't know what you guys think of the game. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It is kind of repetitive. I read some reviews, and a lot of people were saying that they didn't like how repetitive it was. They really hated that it didn't tie in, really, with the other two games. Didn't fit style-wise, is what I mean. Um, I'm really enjoying it, though. Uh, and I do agree that it just doesn't fit. I can understand where... Um, spoilers, in case anyone hasn't watched me play yet and gotten to the point where I'm at. Um... So, turn off your audio, stop watching this video for a couple minutes, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, spoilers in the fact that they, I guess the, you know, Vivek, what is it, Vivek? What am I thinking? Uh, whatever, the giant company, Vivek's from the Elder Scrolls. Um, the giant company that, that runs everything, that, Nebek, there we go. They left for 40 years and then they sent some more people back thinking they're the, telling these people they're the first people on the planet again. And then he find you know, Jim Payton or whatever his name is, um, terrible with names, I don't even know if that's his real name, uh, it's Jim something, anyway, he, he thinks he's the first, you know, they're the first settlers of this planet, um, but I don't know, it, it didn't make sense, and I was wondering why they were thinking that, but, you know, that's what they told him, it's 40 years after, I'm assuming the second game, haven't looked into the storyline yet to see, or the chronology of everything exactly, to see where it actually ties in, um, but it's 40 years after that, and they've completely reset. I think the space pirates thought they were left for dead. Definitely explains the lack of heavy weapons. I mean, if you're left for 40 years on a planet, and then when these new people come back, they're being told they can't use all these super heavy weapons. It explains the lack of them. I really miss rocket launchers and all these like super powerful guns. Um, in the review, they were also mentioning that, yeah, you, you do have access to more powerful ammunitions um, that are souped up with energy or I, I don't know but they're you know expensive and I don't want to pay for that I mean I'm still trying to upgrade my rig um, trying to do everything like that but real interesting game I'm, I'm super enjoying it um, I kind of think it should have been its own standalone game not necessarily the third installment to the Lost Planet series um, haven't finished it yet so I can't say for sure whether or not it's gonna end awesome but out of the reviews I read, with them not having any spoilers at all, um, they just said, you know, it, it was kind of a slow, repetitive game. Um, and I see that. I, I definitely do. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah, I really like the game. Um, I've said that about a thousand times. I really like the game. I really like the game. I really like the game. I just... I, I, I like when storylines tie all together like that. Um definitely like, you know, like Halo 4, all of its storylines are progressive, and they all tie in somewhere. They don't necessarily have to tie in exactly together um, for me to like a game. I just like the fact that they're all, they have their own lore, and the more you, the more you put into developing the history, even if it's not necessarily, you know, like, main storyline tells you the history, um, I like going in and, and doing extra things. Um, on that note, with The Elder Scrolls, um, and Skyrim and all that. I actually read some some of the. I don't know who wrote them and if whether they're actually endorsed by, you know, Bethesda and the companies and everything. But there was one, a couple books I read about two characters that somewhere after, um, oof, I want to say it's after Oblivion, about a hundred years, where Skyrim takes place what four hundred years after Oblivion. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I I read those and they're they're interesting. Um, definitely, you know, you, you get a better image of it if it is a video game first and then you read a book and then they're describing things that are already in the game. Uh, that's cool. But that's, those are the type of things I really enjoy about games. They don't have to be a great, super awesome game like I think Halo is or even, you know, Battlefield is strictly multiplayer for me. I don't really play the main storyline. I have. Um, don't really get into it as much as other ones. I like the, the mytho you know, mythological, false, not really real, whatever you call it. Um, futuristic or even past games that kind of twist history um, whereas you know Battlefield 4 this definitely is more of a fiction but it's still you know modern it's so I, I play most of the multiplayer there 
Yeah. Games like that I love. So just thought I'd give you guys, you know, a quick video. Let's see, it's 10 minutes, just over 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, sorry for the, the lack of game this week. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I've got right now. So thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys next week. Well, you'll see me, hear me next week. I don't know if you'll see me. But you'll, you'll get a, a definitely a Lost Planet video next week. Who knows, maybe I'll record some more later this week when I have time. Thanks for watching, guys.